Good morning from day two. We're heading out bright and early to Epcot this morning. We're trying to get there for early opening because we want to go and do Frozen because it seems to be the only ride that's getting a huge weight right now. Also, we did manage to bag a boarding group for Guardians of the Galaxy, number 42. So I think that's going to be about lunchtime, they're saying. What did you say? I remembered my sunglasses this time. Oh yeah, we've started off better today because Ava has remembered her sunglasses. Also, about 10,000% humidity this morning. Very, very humid. I had to wipe the camera lens off about 100 times since leaving the room. So if I'm a little bit soft focused, that'll be the humidity working. So we're just going to go get a bus now and hopefully next time you see us, we'll be in Epcot. Feels like we were just here, not that very long ago. Uh, bit of an impromptu trip last night, actually. We hadn't planned to do that, but we were feeling energetic. So we came anyway, but now to see it in the daytime, even better. So we're kind of just making our way now with the other resort guests for early opening. And I think most people are probably gonna have the kind of the same idea. Frozen seems to be the ride that still years after it opened, it's still, very popular. It's still getting really busy, so. We're heading there first, and we're just gonna try and do a bunch of different rides today. Also, it's food and wine, so we're thinking for lunch today, we might have some samplings from the food and wine I know, sounds good. festival. I think that might sounds be the way delicious. to go. Sounds delicious. Also, Club Cool, we completely forgot about it last night. I know. Then we were like, we didn't go to Club Cool. I know. What is happening, so. It's happening today, yeah. We're definitely gonna be going to Club Cool, drinking some disgusting uh, beverages and, uh, and some nice good. beverages and uh, just generally having an all around great time hopefully ah yes <laughs> the relaxing sounds of modern Epcot there's still a ton of construction going on for anyone who was wondering and it's all just behind that wall hopefully all this is going away kind of soon I'm sorry I've just walked in front of Ava's shot ruined her photograph um, hopefully all this is going away kind of soon-ish uh, I can't wait because, honestly, these walls, pretty as they are, sick of looking at them. Sick of looking at them. So is, is Epcot still your favourite park, do you think? Yeah. Even with all the construction? Yeah, I feel like it might be better when the construction is less of it. Obviously. Well, I, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I can't wait till it's finished. I like it, like the music's quite nice. Yeah. It's just a very peaceful park. Yeah, right? apart from all the jackhammers and stuff that are going yeah. on in the middle of it. But once you get back here, it's it's it's, it's pretty peaceful, quiet. isn't it? Apart from the sound of test track occasionally in the odd right. the odd monorail. There you go, there goes test track. There's that odd monorail we were talking about. Yes, yeah, so I think this is probably my favourite part of the park. It is nice. Also shaded, which is good because today it's gonna be even hotter than yesterday. Yesterday was a bit of a struggle, honestly. Being British, we're not used to the hot weather. Absolutely love the Mexico section of Epcot. I know, it's... I think this might be my absolute favourite pavilion. I just love it so much. The pyramid looks amazing. You probably can't see it because of the sun. We're just shooting directly into the sun, of course. But I just love the music. Listen to it. It's just so nice. I love it. Okay. We're frozen, let's see how long this line is already. 15 minutes.
see Elsa? Frozen. It was good. It was good. Good as and you ice. remember. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Walked pretty much walked straight on it as well. It said a 15 minute wait, but I would say it was like five. And the plan was going to be to go and try and ride um, Remy's Ratatouille adventure, but it's already shot up to like an hour wait, which is super unusual. I expect that'll come down a bit later on. So we're gambling. Yeah, gambling. We're not going to do go and stand in that line now. We're going to go and do something else. What do you want to do? Really? Yeah. Ava wants to do Journey into Imagination, everybody. So I guess we're going there next. Let's go there. Why not? <laughs> Why not? We can do what we want, can't yeah. we? I love this vista here, especially if you get it when the monorail's going by. This looks so cool with the upside down fountain and the pyramids and stuff. Love it. Okay, Ava's got a photo. She's pleased. Right, there it is. There's our quarry. We're going to Journey into Imagination. Also, they're coming right along with us over here. I genuinely cannot stress enough how keen I am for all these walls to go out of Epcot. It's just been, we've known it as Wallcott now for like five years. I know. I and I know, I know, I know there was the, the Rona in the middle, but like it just feels like it's time for them to come down. And they have, I think they've announced they're coming down in 2024. And I know Journey of Water is due to open like next month or something. So it'll be nice to have something else to see from it. But we're going to go do figment now which genuinely is one of Avra's favorite rides look at her she's so excited <laughs> ah, I'm not being funny even the cast member looked a bit confused as to why we're kind of basically rope dropping journey into imagination <laughs> she was like are you, are you sure <laughs> are you sure good morning more confused cast members <laughs> genuinely might be the only people in this building. <laughs> no, I mean the aunt staff. Hello, on your tour you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, can I go too? Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. They're sight, sound, <laughs> smell, touch, cookie cookie go, and taste. So Vanellope who used to meet there, she's gone now. Vanellope's out, Figment's in. Just outside the Journey to Imagination, even if you don't like the ride, you need to come and check this bit of the park out because it's super awesome. I love it, it's so peaceful and relaxing, check it out. I think one of my earliest memories of coming to like Epcot as a kid was coming to this area and seeing the jumping fountains and Ava just said to me, this is really cool. <laughs> And it's really peaceful, and it is. There's literally like, like I'll just do a quick pan around. There's Ava. 
uh, there's my bag and my camera is filming something and um, but other than that that's it you got the place to yourself so even even on a busy theme park it's still nice you can find somewhere a little quiet just to chill out for a minute yeah so once we've had a little chill here and a little refreshment and we're just taking a bit of water on we're gonna go I'm gonna do I think we're gonna go and do soaring I can't get I'll be honest with you the theme parks I haven't seen them this quiet in a really long time there's like five maybe ten minute waits for basically everything in the park apart from Ratatouille right now which is still 40 minutes but it's already come down to 40 so after that initial rush it's already chilling out so hopefully we'll get on that today fingers crossed fingers crossed so we're gonna go get some water and then uh, we'll go do some soaring okay so we're gonna get water So for those of you who don't know, you can just pull up to any of these machines, you press a little grey button and it gives you cold water. And then you don't overfill your water bottle like I just did. And then you're good to go. So yeah, there you go. I don't know if you could hear me very well because I was filming on the, uh, the action camera and I was trying to hold it in one hand and push the button and also fill the water bottle. So it's a little bit sketchy, but I wanted to show you Anytime you see like um, a drinks dispenser like that when you're at Disney, you just look for the little grey button and it basically pours out filtered ice cold water. It's the same water they use to mix with the syrups for making like Coca-Cola or whatever, but it's free. So if you've got yourself one of the handy dandy collapsible water bottles, link in the description for one of these by the way, um, would recommend one of these very much. You buy these are about a tenner off Amazon and then you can bring this round with you, fill it up as often as you like, it saves an absolute fortune, because bottled water is like 375 a bottle, and you can go through a lot in a day. So, the nice thing is with this, you can get it, it's ice cold, you drink it, and then you just fold it flat, and you can literally just slip it back, in, literally in your pocket if you wanted to. So we always carry these with us, and I would recommend them. Obviously, you don't get a lot for nothing when you come to Disney, most stuff's gonna cost you money. So one thing you don't have to buy is water. You can also just go to like um, any counter service and just ask for water if you want it and they'll give it you for free in a cup. But if you've got a, a bottle like this and you see these dispensers, like I went and filled it up from Sunshine Seasons, we're just in the land because we're going to ride soaring next. You just you just walk up. I, I did check because I didn't know if the rules might have changed. So as of this vlog going out, you're still just allowed to just mosey on up and fill your drinks bottles and they're totally cool with it. It does save you a fortune because like you could easily end up buying between two of you like what 10 bottles of water a day it's like nearly like 40 dollars in water so it's a huge saving so just a little a little tip for you there a tip for bricks you might say so we're in the tower we are ready for takeoff Here we go Here we go Soaring don't always a good time. I love soaring. I love soaring. Right, we think we're gonna go and do uh, Nemo, Caesar with Nemo, which is like a bit of a guilty pleasure of mine. Really like it very much. Never has a wait, like it's like five minutes right now, so we probably just means we're- Definitely an underrated ride. I think it's underrated, it's just a really nice time. I just find it dead relaxing. Also, checked on Guardians of the Galaxy, still showing 1048, so we should have time to do Nemo, maybe something else than guardians
depending on how things go. Oh no, what happened to the seagulls? Where are the seagulls? There used to be some seagulls on that rock right there going, mine, mine, mine. And now they've gone. Gosh dang it. That's ruined my whole day. Well, if they can take the seagulls away, they can take anything away. That's a, that's concerning me, Ava. Where's the seagulls? I think they're, prob they're probably just down for maintenance. Yeah, probably. I don't think we need to panic just yet. I think I don't think Nemo's going away just yet. I hope not. Oh God. First part. Oh, the aircon. Air conditioning, loveliness. I love it in here. I love it. I just love the. I love the vibe of it all. You can't see where you're going, but <laughs> camera's doing a really good job of making it way, way lighter than it is. <laughs> but it's actually pretty dark. Just like lifeguard stations and stuff. It's just really cool. So nice, isn't it? It's, it's beautiful, isn't it? I just, think, I just love the music and everything. It's just like, it just makes me feel uh, all like relaxed and happy. I don't know. Maybe it's because I loved, I did love Finding Nemo when it came out. Either. Don't touch the butt. Watch your step. Watch your step before it gets moving. Watch your step. Super fun ride, a few slowdowns, don't know, maybe a little breakdowns or something. Still a good time, we just we got to spend it even longer on the ride, which is no bad thing. No. Now, normally, when we come off this, I would say to you, we're gonna have a look around the aquarium here, which you definitely should do, because it's awesome. And we may come back and do that later, but now, it's pretty much time for our Guardians of the Galaxy um, reservation. So, uh, good times, let's go and head over there now. There it is. That's where we're going. It's time. I feel like everybody films the front of this spaceship and nobody films the back, which is a shame because it's very cool looking. <laughs> it's probably better than the front. It's a lot quicker than you think it is, isn't it? Surprisingly fast. Oh, that was so Very smooth though. That was so worth it. Yeah, yeah. Right, Ava, so have you recovered from Guardians of the Galaxy now? I have. Uh, it's, it's great, isn't it? 
We got a really good spot as well. We were sat at the back, but Ava didn't know that the back is actually the front because it's a reverse launch coaster. I didn't want to ruin it for her, so I didn't say anything. But now we're going to go and celebrate having been on Guardians of the Galaxy the only way you can with a trip to the party zone. Right, Ava's getting us underway with watermelon. They used to do a watermelon frosty, didn't they? Which was, I think, a Fanta. Is it good? Right, I'll have to say, what should I try? This Russian cucumber sprite, that sounds interesting. Country Club from Dominican Republic, right, and, oh, Minute Maid Joy. Well, something called Joy can't be bad, can it? Is it good? Right, I'm gonna try Joy, apparently. This is from Korea. It smells nice, it smells like... Oh, is that like lychee flavoured or something? Or oh, does it say it is? It does actually tell you, doesn't it? Apple and apple lychee, there you go. I could have just read it, but I guess, then I guess correctly, it's apple lychee. I think you might like Minute Maid Joy, Ava. We've escaped Club Cool. It, it was nice in there, the drinks were nice but the smell was not nice. It smelled weird in there, didn't it? It did. So we, we kind of had a few more drinks and we just kind of got out of there because, uh, not gonna lie, something smelled kind of bad in there. Someone but the... forgot to put the yogurt on. Yeah. So what we're gonna do now is we're hungry. So we're gonna head over to World Showcase and uh, go and have a look at some food and wine festival, see if we can find something good to eat. So this is the first place we're gonna try the Brewing Lab at the Odyssey. So, sounds like beer and chicken to me, so can't be bad. Although I did say I wasn't, I wasn't gonna drink beer this holiday, didn't I? Yeah, uh, naughty dad, don't. Yeah, that's why Ava's come with me on this trip. She's just there to keep me in order and stop me, like, keep me in line and stop me from just getting drunk and going sitting in the sunshine well, I'm more somewhere. mature than you are. I'm like practically your parent at this point. Well, I'm not sure I'd go that far, but <laughs> I can get a bit silly sometimes. <laughs> silly? <laughs> Ridic rid it. Ridiculous, perhaps. I've heard it called. There's someone asleep on a bench here. I'm not going to show them. How can people just sleep on benches in like public? I can't even sleep in like my own bed sometimes. <laughs> you know, like if the pillow's not quite right. Know, How'd you fall asleep on like a metal bench in the middle of Nowhere. a theme park? Okay. Actually, I hope they weren't dead. Right then, so we got sorted at the brewing and we've gone for some garlic parmesan wings, which are the sensible, that's the sensible purchase. And then, you've got and then we got sticky peanut butter and jelly flavoured wings. They smell very interesting. Which actually smell like you would expect, they smell like peanut butter. And then this, we've got this. Oh, yes. Cold fusion or chili fusion or something it's called, which is a blend of like pomegranate tea and some. I'll put up on screen exactly what it is or, or in the description or something. I can't remember exactly what it is. It sounded decent, it smells very citrusy. Those are orange, I think those are orange crispy pearls. Smell. Oh, yeah. It smells quite, quite citrusy. Uh, we do only have one straw though, so we're gonna have to share because yeah, we both want to try it, but it's okay. Yeah. We're related. There's nothing weird going on here, so I'm going to try this first okay. thing, because I'm thirsty. He says, it is frozen solid. Oh! I like that, it's nice, it's nice. Slurping noises. I don't know, I'm not sure if you're going to like it. You don't think I like I don't know, give it a whirl. I really enjoy that actually, that's my type of flavour palette. I don't like stuff that's too sweet, and it's not. What do you think? Not bad. Is it? Do you, do you, do you, do you do words? Do you like it? No, it's not the worst thing I've had. But it's not your favourite? But not my favourite. Okay. Do you want to try the wings first? Do you want to go for a wing I think first? I might try the peanut butter on this. Alright, Ava's... Fun. That's well, the, the, pe the peanut butter one, let's be honest, is the is the me is the meme purchase here. So let's give it a go. Not bad. Not bad. Let's give it a go. Yeah, not bad. If you like peanut butter and jelly, <laughs> you'll like the peanut butter and jelly wings. Let's go on. You go first again. You've been okay. going first. Alright. Yeah. Was it just up two? I think it's two stuck together you got there. Oh, 
Oh, it's not focusing. The wing's just too delicious to focus. So delicious. See, the, chick the, the, the garlic parmesan, we've had garlic parmesan stuff before, we kind of know what to expect to hear, I think. But, um, also, leave us a comment down below. Drums or, or flats? Which, 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 are you a drum or a flat person when it comes to wings? No, nice. thanks. Yum, yum. So, which one? Is your favourite if you had to just pick one? Probably this one. The, the, the PB and J. Yeah. Peanut butter sticky wings. Yeah, they're both really delicious. Yeah, really. Um, happy with both choices. Really enjoyed it. I really like the drink. Ava's not so sure it wouldn't be a drink of choice. I would buy this again. And uh, if those of you are interested, I'll uh, I'll put the prices up on the screen now. Um, basically it came to just under twenty dollars and just a word of one and if you do come to this particular uh, restaurant at Epcot the Brewing uh, it's card only they don't accept cash so just which seems a little bit strange to me but we're seeing it more and more so just be prepared that you will need a card to pay for your food we've come out of Odyssey now and we are literally at Mexico so it'd be rude not to do the uh, the Mexico boat ride when at the Grand Fiesta tour so we're gonna do that first and then maybe you never know after we've had a little boat ride. We, we might feel like we might feel like trying some more food, but we'll see how we go. I think for now, that's kind of enough to keep us going, would you say? Yeah. Would you agree? Right, so Ava's just very hot now as well. So we're gonna go ride this boat ride because it's beautiful and cool in there. So uh, let's go. Right, let's get in here. I love this pavilion. Why, why are there so many people leaving? No. <laughs> I think that's the most people I've ever seen. Oh god! Like I love how like uh, bustling it is in here as well. Like look, it just it's like it feels like almost like you are actually at a market. It's like it's just I just love it so much. Oh my god! Gotta try it on. I'm shaking. I'm shaking my head behind the camera. Gotta try it on for the vlog. Yeah, how many years did you leave at home before we came to America? Two. A donut one and an alien one. Just two? Just two, I only have two. Oh, your mum's got lots, it must be your mum and think that. Oh, here we go. Would you like me to take your photograph? Yes. <laughs> you inherited that big head, man. <laughs> there you go. Very nice. Oh, that's really nice. No. Uh, we don't boring. need. We don't need more mini ears or Mickey ears. Would you say they were Mickey ears or would you say they were mini ears? Mini ears. That's a bow. It's got a bow. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll accept that. Ava's trying to convince me that I should let her have them because they're churros and it's there's a food festival on. So some in some way, shape, or form that means that she. Should have the. I'm in no well behaved today. This could be my own. Mexico boat ride never disappoints, that was awesome. We've made an executive decision as well. We, we had a little little powwow, didn't we, after we came out of it? Yeah. And we both decided that we're actually not hungry. <laughs> no, <they're laughs> after those chippy wings. They, they were really filling. They were really filling. That, that's a good value, because those two portions of chicken wings and that fancy frozen drink that I got, the chili fusion or whatever it was called, came to like 19.75. And honestly, pretty filling. It was. So what we're doing instead is we've turned round now, we're going the other way around World Showcase and we're going to go and try and ride Remy because the wait time has come right down to like 25-30 minutes so we're going to go and try and ride that while we're up this way. Save us a lot more walking and then hopefully by the time we're finished we'll have enough room to go and get something tasty from the uh, the, the French food places because oh, yeah. we've got our eye on something or Ava has. 
I'll tell you what as well, what's surprising me, Epcot is way busier than Magic Kingdom was yesterday. But like I say, I do think that might have been something to do with me, like the old tactic of going when there's a Halloween party on. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see what it was like today actually on the wait times. Yeah. But yeah, of course, I mean, I've seen it busier, but it's certainly busy. We've arrived at France. There's like a bakery or something at the back there that sells some pretty amazing stuff. So I think we're going to go check that out after we've checked out Ratatouille first, which is yeah. just just down here. Now th this will be your first time in this new section won't we? Because this wasn't even open, I don't, it wasn't built I don't think last time you came. Yeah. We'll go check it out. Right, so we just walked into the new section and what's the thing that Ava comments on? Is it the Skyliner which she's never ridden? Is it the whole new land that's been built here? Is it the new ride? No. No, what Ava's seen from all the way over there is Remy the plushy rat and she's like Yes, that's what I want. <laughs> How old are you? Uh, 14. <laughs> How much is it? $29.99. <laughs> I feel like this entire trip's just me telling you no when it comes to like plushies. So, oh, this is very pretty. <laughs> We did Remy, didn't we, Ava? Yeah. to it. And what was your honest opinion on it? It was okay. It was okay. It's just not like a on Yeah. I feel like, honestly, the glasses gave me a bit of a headache. Right. And they always make me feel a bit weird rides like that. Oh, you 3D rides will always make you feel a bit strange. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. So yeah. It wasn't really for me, but I guess anyone that's like, Opinions or opinions, of course, yeah, everybody's different, aren't they? Personally, I think it's like a reasonable, it's, there's nothing wrong with it, it's an alright ride in it, but it's just, um, we waited about 40 minutes, mainly because Ava's never done it before and I wanted her to do it, uh, but I don't think she'd wait 40 minutes again for it, is what she's trying to say, but we did just wait about 15 minutes to go and get this croc glacé, which is melting, so I'll, I'll show you this, because Ava's excited and she wants to eat it. Like a sandwich? Yeah, yeah. So you, the ice cream's inside, okay. but they like press it hot. So it's it's hot, but with ice cream inside, cold ice cream inside. Just pick but it like, up, just pick it up and buy it, Ava. No, I don't want this. Just <laughs> <laughs> so bite it. Yeah, just, just, just bite it, just watch it. <laughs> it's coming out the side. Oh no. Is it nice? Oh, oh yeah. Everything you've dreamt of. <laughs> right, Ava's letting me try some. I don't think I've ever had any of this. I'm going to go this side though because the ice cream is trying to escape. Oh yeah. Where have you been all my life? So we went with vanilla ice cream and chocolate sauce, but there's loads of different stuff you can get in there, isn't there? Mm. But I think that's a pretty good combo. I like the way she's just silent because <laughs> she's just like, I'm so hungry. The next day. Hello, it's me. Confession time. Uh, it's the next day. We just, <laughs> last time you saw us, we were at Epcot. I think we were enjoying that delicious croc glaceur thing, which was lovely, by the way. We did do another couple of attractions after that. Uh, we went on Mission Space Green because I'd never done green. I'd only ever done the orange one, and Ava had never done it at all. And uh, we rode Spaceship Earth again. But truthfully, we were both just dead on our feet, just real tired, and I just... We looked like, we looked like the walking dead. Uh, we looked terrible, we started to feel terrible, so we decided just to ab abandon our... It was five o'clock at this point, by the way, though. We'd been there all day. 
Oh. And we came back to the hotel and, we, and Ava just had a dip in the pool. So didn't vlog that bit. Apologies. We had some dinner for tea. We had, uh, I was going to say we had some dinner for tea. I was hoping my speech would get better now. I've had a decent night's sleep. But we basically went for some dinner. I had pizza. Ava had giant meatballs. The pizza was good. The meatballs were not. That's the summary on the food. It tasted like sick. Ava said they tasted like sick. There you go. So maybe don't get the meatballs if you go. <laughs> the, the pasta was nice, but the meatballs were horrible, was, was Ava's description. Uh, the pizza was pizza, and uh, pizza's never bad, is it? So we enjoyed our dinner, and then we had an early night. We literally turned it in at 9 p.m. last night because we were exhausted. So apologies for not finishing the vlog properly, but here we go. Now, as for tomorrow, which is now today, because obviously I didn't do my vlogging properly, uh, we're off to Hollywood Studios. We'll see you then.